Hi, this is Dan Oler from sunny Sangudo. It's June of 2024. Welcome to our little farming operation here. You can see we've got just an amazing bunch of cattle here this year. The last few years you've seen we've had a variety of different types. Red Angus and we've had Hereford Crosses and all kinds of stuff. The last two years we've had animals that were incredibly difficult to deal with. They were wild right from the get-go. We had rodeos and I don't like to deal with animals that way. So this year um, we've developed some great friendship with Six Star Farms, the Starman family from north of Merithorpe and we feel very fortunate to have their animals this year. You might be wondering what in the world are those things that look so funny. They're called Speckle Park. Now Speckle Park is, uh, you've heard me talk about Angus and Hereford and Semmental and Shorthorns. Well this is a, a Canadian breed. It actually started in 1959 in the good old province of Saskatchewan where some farmers started breeding um, Aberdeen Angus with a Shorthorn animal and so they end up being kind of this whitish, bluish, speckled kind of color, most of them. As you can see, there are some straight red and some straight black ones as well. And these animals, because of the way the Starmans have raised them, they are incredibly docile. They're so friendly. Uh, typically, if I walk out in amongst them, they come walking over. They all want to have their scratch. And, and those are the kinds of animals that I like. It makes it so easy for the type of operation we have here. And as you can see, we've got beautiful lush green grass. We've had rain recently, even though it started out very dry, and the grass has responded. It's beautiful. You can see it's very lush here, and yet these cattle have been here for a couple days, and so tomorrow I'll be moving them over. On the other side of that fence, you can see that white electric wire, and they'll get another small chunk there where they'll spend, oh, two or three days in the next chunk. And that rotational grazing that we do every two to three days, it helps to maintain the grass. It puts some pressure on it for a few days then gives it a long period of rest, probably 60-65 days before the cattle will be back in here and it will be grown up lush, lush and beautiful again. And as you can see the grass is so thick and you can see lots of brown stuff in there. That's the thatch from last year. The old grass and the year before and the year before and that old grass lays down in there. The cattle tromp on it, the bugs and soil microbes work on it from below and it turns into very, very rich, rich soil. In the time that we've been here, it's been, well, we're newcomers in the community. We've been here almost 30 years. And um, I think that we probably have grown the soil probably six inches deep in that time by rotationally grazing by managing the grass and allowing that thatch and the bugs and the microbes to do their job and it's producing just an incredible amount of healthy grass for these animals. And the animals, yep, it's going to be your steaks and hamburgers and roasts this fall. For right now, they're great, great friends. They get lots of love and support and mineral and salt. Absolutely no chemicals or anything like that and um, they're just happy and healthy and that's exactly the way we want it. Have a super day!